lead skull and bones if you're in the orthodox position and we're coming from an angle and you come back lead skull and bones come back with the straight right now as you as you go from your skull and bones to your punch you want to put this hand back up you don't want to get caught in the bad habit of doing this and your hand is still winged you gotta learn how to correct yourself from this folded arm position go back and you're back here ready to punch again because if you're thinking combinations you're thinking full hook and if this hand ain't up you don't have the combination so if you go from here to how you come back with that left hook so you want to fix yourself after doing these, after coming out of these folded arm blocks and come back with your punches. That's the key to a good defense. Not a defense that leads you into another defense that takes you into another defense. You need a defense that sets up your offense and that's a good defense. So we are looking at, man. So that's off your lead skull and bones if you're thinking about your rear skull and bones, you're going to set it up with the left hook. So the rear skull and bones. Off your rear skull and bones, you want to come with the left hook. Lead skull and bones, right hand, rear, left hook. So, you know, after you start playing with it easy, then you put it in your freestyle. Different punches. So there you have it. Skull and bones. Lead. Right. Left hook. Rear. Left hook. Rear. Rear uppercut.